different types of glucose. In the case of the roaches, are looking for uh, uh, the roaches are actually looking more for proteins, oils, and and decomposed matter. So if you've got a sinkerator, yeah, and you and that in there is going to have decomposed matter. So when they come out at night, they have something to eat. It's in there. Gotcha. They found what they wanted. They're in the sewer system. So if you, if you're this right here, look at right here, Eric. Come down here with me. Yep. This is a common problem. See this P-trap? Uh -huh. That's a U-trap. Okay, this U-trap serves a purpose to keep the odors from the sewers to coming into your house. It's full of water. Yeah. What happens, you leave for three to four days. The temperature in the house is in the 80s. Yeah. It'll dry. Roaches are easily going to come in through the sewer system because they're in the sewer system. Hmm. So they're going to come into your house through your pipes and you leave for a week. You, people leave for vacation for a couple of weeks and they say, I found roaches in my house. I found dead roaches. How did they get in? That's how they got in. The pat dried out and they came in. So how, how, how we can handle that? I mean, you need to run the water? Or right. Or, uh, if if you're going to be going on vacation, you either need to make sure you put a cap on them uh. and seal it and so that the roaches can't come out. In the case of your bathtubs and your sinks, they have that little um, uh, vent to allow for overflow. Okay. And you're going to have to seal that overflow because they'll make it through the overflow too. So, so yeah, toilets are a little bit hard. They can still go through water. Roaches can swim. Oh, wow. So they'll still go, but it makes it a lot harder. It, it, that's an easy access point. So those are things that people need to look at in their home that, hey, that pee trap dries out, and you're going to notice it every single time, especially homes that have septic tanks over sewers because there's hundreds of thousands of them in your septic tank. So if you have a septic tank, you're going to have way more occurrences of American roaches, large roaches, in the home than if you have no septic tank. We go in a sewer system and we open up that lid or we pull out the lid, we can usually see them running in there wow. and running across. We can usually spot them outside. So those are the things that people need to know is how do I prevent it is, you know, make sure that if you're going to go on vacation, that's, you know, uh, or somebody's running water. You know, you're somebody coming in and just run the water. People have bathrooms they don't use. They got four bathrooms in the house and they only use three and it never gets used. You start getting problems in there because water isn't running through. You can get flies, small flies, like uh, forehead flies and uh, filth flies to come in through the sewer system because those pea traps are dry and they're in the sewer system. Yeah. So that's how people, how did I get this fly in my home? That It came in through the sewer system. You're not using that bathroom. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to set up and we're going to start doing the initial service and start walking around and doing the initial service around the house. I'm going to show you what that entails. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put it in places where they're hiding and where we saw them hiding. And it's going to be like if you can get around with me over here underneath, I'm going to put it like where it can't be seen. So I don't want you know the customer to see it. The roaches will find it. Can you get in there and see it where I'm at, where my hand is at? You get yeah. it? All right, so what we're going to do is basically just squeeze it into that little corner. And we're going to do the same around in this corner. This is an American roach we're dealing with. They're going to find it. I'm putting it where nobody can really see much of it, and it can always be cleaned out. And plus, wherever they saw the activity. All right, so another place. So they prefer the corners, huh? Yeah, they're going to find it, but it's hidden so yeah. that, you know, it's not being seen everywhere. It just doesn't look... You know, bad when you open up your cabinet, you see bait everywhere. You don't need it. So the other place that I use it um, is easy for them to find it. They're walking around your floors. Well, where else are we going to put it? Well, I'm going to go down here and, and, and see if you can take that camera sideways. I think you can. If you put that camera on the floor, I think you can see it, Eric. Yeah. Look at down here. See down here. Yeah. See, see the. Let me let me see if I can shoot my light on there. Um, all right, so you see that little crack in there? There's a little crack. There's a little void. I think you can see it. Yeah, you can see it right there. You're going to see when I put it in. Yeah. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to yeah. stick it in that hole.